All right, be amazed. What is this? Holy chromatin madness. Does it look familiar? I thought we should have it not only sitting next to me, but on your screen as well. That is Barkley the dog from Sesame Street, if he were dyed red and green. Chromatin, what stage of the cell cycle are we in? Some part of interphase we know because our DNA is in chromatin form. If we're going through mitosis at all, we're going to condense our chromosomes. So if we were to condense this mess, and I were to show you, oh, look, at these chromosomes, I'm actually condensing them out. Do you agree? Totally. And I just wind them up. How many different chromosomes do I have here? I have chromosome number one, chromosome number two, and chromosome number three. Haploid or diploid? Diploid. We've got two copies of each chromosome before or after. S. After. We've totally replicated slash duplicated. Try to say those words at exactly the same time, and you'll just do what I just did. We've replicated our DNA, so we have sister chromatids. If I were perfect, I would add centromeres into this so that you could see the little dots, and we could count six chromosomes but we do have sister chromatids, so we have too much DNA. The green ones we can say came from mama, and the red ones from dad, which again just tells us that we have, um, dude, this person calls me every day at this time, but doesn't leave me a message, and I'm not answering my phone right now. Um, I can do this because I got distracted. What? I'm not starting over. Let's just move on. Here we are in interphase and it's G1. So if we were to look at our chromosomes in G1, do you agree that we only have half? We do not have sister chromatids. And now we're in S of interphase. Can you tell? <laughs> you can't tell by looking at it, except that you know that we've doubled our DNA. And so if we peeked at the chromosomes now, do you see my sisters? Sisters in the house. All right. Now we're going to start the process of prophase. This is totally fine. Prophase, we're just going to condense our DNA. Our nucleolus is disappearing. The nuclear envelope is disappearing. Goodbye. All of our chromosomes are condensing. Who's that? That's the centriole part of the centrosome team. Check them out. The centrioles start to travel to the poles. They also start to build their little microtubule spindles. Seriously? This, what was that? The spindles start to, I don't know why it looked like that, attach to the chromosomes and line them up on the metaphase plate. Check it out. Now we're all attached. Hopefully you know that we actually are attached and jostling. That's how we get the chromosomes lined up on the metaphase plate. But notice how everybody's lined up in the middle, one sister on each side. What stage happens next? Anaphase splits apart the sister chromatids. They're a little bit sad. Come back to me, my sister. And they get pulled to the poles in anaphase. What's actually happening right here? What's this representing? That's cytokinesis. Cytokinesis is happening while anaphase in this example is still finishing. Telophase happens when we get our cell, our chromosomes in the poles, we just finished cytokinesis, so now we have two identical daughter cells. And if we compare those two daughter cells to our original cell, you'll see that they're exactly the same. And that is the process of mitosis. B, mitosis. Understand it before diving into the meiosis lecture, because meiosis is a little bit different. But you want to make sure that I'm all, everything coming up is based on your understanding of meiosis, which is based on your understanding of mitosis. So take your time to make sure you understand this before moving on to the next lecture. I holla back.